there's just, there's just different uh, ways that I start. Uh, you know, sometimes you know I can be watching something or uh, you know or listening to music or I see something and it just gives me an idea. So once once I do the the sketch or the, or the, uh, the I guess you could say like the blueprint of what my painting is gonna be like, you know, things change, you know, it's not, it's not always exactly how I sketched it out. Um, once I start painting, like, you know, other things start coming to my mind and, you know, I'll, I'll change, sometimes even change the whole concept and just keep a little part of the original sketch. I actually make my own canvases, you know, I get the wood made, I cut it out. Um, from start to finish, you know, it's it's all me. Um, I like I like using pastels, um, you know, to give certain things a detail. Um, spray paint, just because how you know how flat and you know clean uh, spray paint can make a painting look. I I, I just I, I pretty much use everything, you know, whatever whatever I'm feeling at the time and whatever whatever technique or whatever process that I'm trying to. Do well most of the time. Like I, I think of a series that I want to do, and then I start doing it. And after two, three pieces, I, I lose uh, interest in it because I start thinking of something else, you know. And I want to start doing this other thing, so I start doing that series, you know. Collaborating pieces is probably like one of my favorite things to do, just for the simple fact that, you know, it, it takes you out of your comfort zone. Um, usually, when you're painting by yourself, then you know you take your time and. You know, you, you can take as long as you want when you collaborate with somebody. Um, you know, you got to think about this other person, you know, what are they going to do? Or how can you collaborate or how can you mix your style with his style? And not only that, but because you get to see another artist, you get to see their process, how they do it, what are their techniques, you know, how, how they think. And that helps me or that influences me or gives me ideas on you know how I could maybe evolve or better my art. We're 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 trying to we're trying to create an art scene here in El Paso because there's not really an art scene here, you know, and, and other big cities have it. And you know, a bunch of us, you know, that are into our art and stuff, you know, we want to get people interested, you know, get them to look at art, you know, get it to buy art, you know, buy local, you know. We do it for ourselves for exposure and you know, to create that art scene, you know, to let people know, let the world know that, hey, we got talent here in El Paso and, you know, we wait, we hope and expect that, you know, people go and go to our shows and see and, you know, maybe, maybe somebody that knows somebody that, you know, has galleries in other, you know, museums or somebody that can get our work into museums or, you know, other cities where, you know, our work can be appreciated also. So that's what we do, you know, Lester's and the arts in here in El Paso.